Well, um, I did this research a while back. Uh, my research indicated that the tap water in very many cities has tested positive for radioactive elements. I don't know, radioactive uh, cesium, iodine, the, the, the whole uh, the whole gambit of uh, radioactive spew that was shot out of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Um, the the plant continues to melt down, and they continue to put water on the meltdown, which is generating steam, which is being carried into the atmosphere, which is still billowing globally. Um, that the the air that's over Japan today, I think it's about six days for for that air to then be over the eastern United States. So it's like what. Uh, three days to be over California, another three days for it to be over uh, Massachusetts or so. And um, yeah, so long as they, uh, they don't do anything to cover the nuclear meltdown, it's going to continue to billow into the air and it's going to continue to uh, contaminate the atmosphere. Uh, the contamination of the atmosphere is getting rained onto uh, the uh, onto the soil and uh, the uh, the grass, uh, uh, essentially the food that the cows are eating. Uh, I've seen that in Arizona, uh, the radiation in in milk was 1,600 percent above normal. Uh, the rainwater uh, in uh, in Pennsylvania was 3,300% above normal. Uh, the rainwater in San Francisco, was that the rainwater or was that the tap water? Uh, bring, the, bring up this article. things are real nuisance to find yeah I guess I'm gonna have to do a search oh yeah uh, before I go looking for the uh, whether it was a rainwater or tap water in San Francisco 18,000 percent above the uh, the permissible limit according to the EPA 18,000% above the EPA's limit. Um, in, uh, in California, the, the food and grocery stores, spinach, broccoli, um, milk, it's all contaminated with, uh, with the radioactive fallout. 18,000% San Francisco. going to bring it right to the top of the search results. Radiation found in San Francisco tap water, 18,000% above uh, the drinking water limit. Um, yeah, so, you know, all of this is to indicate that you know, the, the nuclear warfare that is Fukushima Daiichi, nuclear meltdown, three nuclear reactors melting down simultaneously, all of them open to the air, billowing steam into the atmosphere uh, that you know there's gonna be nothing sensible done about it you know if you're gonna do anything sensible about it yourself you gotta do it yourself because the government's not gonna do it you know they they're not even gonna you know widely let people know that you know in some places 18,000 percent radiation above the permissible limit you know they're not gonna let people know that their milk is 1600 percent above uh, above normal, that the rainwater is 3,300% above normal on the east coast of the United States. 
you know, if the tap water is 18,000% above the permissible limit, then you can imagine what the rain in California is like. Uh, a Californian has told me that the rain was so bad uh, one time that he noticed, this was way back when uh, the situation first happened, that it left a yellow dusting on his vehicle. That there was actually, you know, and that, that means that there was plutonium on his vehicle. I'm going to give you the list of cities that the uh, that the rainwater has tested as positive, or not the rainwater, the tap water. So this is the water coming out of people's faucets that is uh, positive for radiation or uh, radioactive elements. Richland, Washington, Boise, Idaho, San Francisco, California, Oak Ridge, Tennessee, Chattanooga, Tennessee, Helena, Montana, Columbia, Pennsylvania, Cincinnati, Ohio, Pet, uh, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, East Liverpool, Ohio, Painesville, Ohio, Denver, Colorado, Detroit, Michigan, Trenton, New Jersey, Waretown, New Jersey, Colorado Springs, Colorado, and uh, that Colorado Springs, Colorado radiation that actually predates Fukushima. But you know, now that the Fukushima fallout is falling into the uh, you know, falling into uh, the topsoil. It's going to get rained down. It's going to wash into the water table. It's going to be even worse water there. Um, this is a list of places where Fukushima radiation has been detected. Uh, th these places, it uh, may or may not be in the tap water, but it's been uh, it's been detected that it's it's definitely there. Uh, Muscle Shoals, uh, Shoals, Alabama, Little Rock, Arkansas, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Los Angeles, California, Las Vegas, Neva uh, Nevada, Nome, Alaska, Dutch Harbor, Alaska, Honolulu, Hawaii, Kauai, Hawaii, Oahu, Hawaii, Anaheim, California, Riverside, California, San Bernardino, Cali uh, San Bernardino California, Jacksonville, Florida, Orlando, Florida, Lake City, Florida, Salt Lake City, Utah, Boston, Massachusetts, and Montgomery, Alabama. This is a list of states that the radiation has been detected in. Uh, first, I'm going to give you three states where uh, pl plutonium, or no, uranium has been detected. Uh, you know, uranium being the heavy radioactive metal that is actually the nuke fuel. Uh, the uranium's been detected in Hawaii, California, and Washington. Uh, the radiation or radioactive material, including cesium, iodine, uh, some other radioactive elements, have been detected also in Tennessee, Oregon, Idaho, Montana, Pennsylvania, Ohio, Michigan, New Jersey, Alabama, Florida, Nevada, Washington State, Arkansas. Uh, I don't know why I didn't have Massachusetts on this list, but uh, it's been detected in Massachusetts rainwater. Uh, pretty much it's everywhere. It's everywhere in the United States. There's not a United State, or uh, there's not a state of the United States that uh, there hasn't been radioactive contamination fall on due to the Fukushima Daiichi triple nuclear meltdown. And uh, the, um, if you want to search my, my channel for uh, Fukushima, uh, you'll find that there's a animation of uh, the uh, the debris cloud as it began to spread out and I found a couple places where uh, where they have uh, they tracked the debris cloud and they only tracked it to um, what was it about early May they did not uh, they, that's when they stopped tracking it but uh, you could see in early May that it had gone global that it was everywhere it was on every continent um, it wasn't so bad in uh, in the southern hemisphere, but you know most of the the world's uh, land continents are in the northern hemisphere. So you know there's um, I don't know most of humanity is suffering this right now. It's in Europe. It's in um, you know it's in uh, it's in Asia. It's in Africa. Uh, you know it is everywhere, and. Um, it's still going on daily. Uh, the the nuclear meltdowns are uh, they are spewing into the atmosphere radioactive steam carrying radioactive iodine, radioactive cesium, and um, yeah, they uh, 
TEPCO, they announced that they have a 10-year plan to decommission the plants. They're saying that they have no plans to cover the plants before September, and that's a maybe. So, you know, um, this is about as fierce a, a nuclear war as nuclear war could be, because, you know, at least if there were bombs, uh, nuclear missiles flying and whatnot, people would know, you know, and they would take, you know, protective action. You know, they would be wearing... Uh, gas masks and you know, they'd be living in their bomb shelters, but uh, You know with with this going on that you know, it's all silent that you know, there's no coverage of it in the media People are just out there breathing it on a daily basis and they're they're eating it in their food and they're not even realizing because you know, all of these articles that I've found that have been documenting the the radiation found in milk and tap water and food in general yeah, they're all in the alternative media. You know, I haven't found, you know, even one article that's major media, you know, saying uh, you know, what's going on with this stuff. So, you know, don't expect the news to save you. Don't expect the EPA to save you. Don't expect you know, the, the U.S. federal government to, you know, to do anything decent. Yeah, you know, they're a bunch of murderous criminals. And, you know, you got to do, uh, you got to do it on your own. You got to come up with the, the appropriate... Um, solution that's part of it right there you gotta get uh, a filter a water filter you gotta get some bentonite clay bestbentonite.com is where I got this 100% pure bentonite uh, let's see the um, if you get a magic bullet blender and some activated carbon or activated charcoal, you can grind up the, uh, the activated carbon so it's a powder. And if you drink that, then that, that helps get the, uh, the radioactive material out of your body. It, um, it's actually a, a wide spectrum um, decontaminant that you know, pretty much all toxins can be removed from your body by activated uh, carbon, uh, otherwise known as activated charcoal. Uh, you know, you might do baths in activated charcoal, you might do baths in bentonite clay, uh, you might make a little uh, bowl with some water of it and smear that on yourself or whatnot. And uh, you know, absolutely do not go out in the rain. You know, you, uh, you'll come out with like, you know, some type of fierce, um, uh, fierce breakout if, if you uh, go out in the rain, uh, go out in the nuclear rain. Uh, so... I don't know, there's all that, and, um, oh yeah, you gotta, uh, avoid the vegetables that, avoid the vegetables that, uh, have a, a large surface area, so, like, broccoli and cauliflower, um, I don't know, spinach even, uh, you might be able to, um, to, well, clean spinach, you might, uh, you know, make a, a real... Uh, light bowl of bentonite clay to to rinse your spinach uh, in some bentonite or bentonite. You know, if you get dry spinach, you can't do that with canned spinach, obviously. Um, but uh, I don't know. The, the better vegetables that, to eat are the vegetables that they're real thick and smooth, like uh, eggplant and um, uh, apples, because you know the uh, the rain might have gotten on the outside of them, which you can wash off. But uh, the inside of them grew from the inside, so you, know, you don't have to worry so much about um, you know, what's on the inside of them. Like with an apple, uh, the uh, it, it gets filtered. The the water that makes it into the apple gets filtered through the whole tree. It's coming up out of the roots. It's going through the tree before it arrives to the apple. So. You know, it's, uh, another good thing that you can do is to uh, start to eat sprouts and to sprout your own sprouts. So, you know, grow your food right in your own home. That way you don't have to worry, you know, and use some filtered water uh, to feed your sprouts, to get the, the sprouts grown. And um, you know, what else? Uh, you know, uh, do an indoor garden. Uh, they say also to avoid animal foods, uh, beef. The um, I don't know beef and milk, uh, you know dairy in general. The uh, the cows they're eating right off of the ground, and the ground is so radioactive. Uh, they they I, I saw a video from uh, a guy over in Japan, and he holds his Geiger counter up into the air, and it's making a detection like you know, every four or five seconds. 
and then he holds the Geiger counter down to the ground and the Geiger counter is going off constantly. So, you know, uh, what's being rained out of the air onto the ground is then staying on the ground and it's going to stick on the ground. It's going to get washed into the soil and it's going to be, uh, I don't know, it's going to contaminate the groundwater eventually. So, uh, I don't know, those are all considerations, but uh, for, uh, for right now, you know, avoid the animal foods, um, you know, avoid the vegetables that have a, uh, lo a wide surface area, you know, that cannot be easily cleaned, and um, I don't know, try, try to consume vegetables that have uh, a big inside, you know, there's, there's plenty of meat to the vegetable. And um, I don't know stuff that uh, you know is on the inside of something like beans. You know they they're on the inside of a bean pod. So you know the outside of the bean pod, you know that might be contaminated by the nuclear rain. But the the beans that are on the inside shouldn't be so bad. So I don't know. Good luck with this nuclear war.